This video will walk you through recalibrating your Blade RF's clock against the GSM base station. The Blade RF has an onboard VCT-CXO, or Voltage Controlled Temperature Compensated Crystal Oscillator, that is factory calibrated to within 20 parts per billion. This calibration is partly found by reading the VCT-CXO's output frequency with a frequency counter as the onboard trim DAC's output voltage is modified programmatically. The goal of the calibration procedure is to get the VCT-CXO's output frequency to be as close to 38.4 MHz as possible. Unfortunately, due to the fact that components age, the calibration that is found at the factory does not remain valid for more than a year at a time. To counteract the effects of component aging, Calibrate Blade RF can be used to find the new DAC trim voltage to bring the VCT-CXO's output frequency back to 38.4 MHz. In the factory, a 10 part per billion OCXO frequency counter is used to detect the error. Calibrate Blade RF instead requires nothing more than Blade RF and a GSM antenna. Calibrate Blade RF works by listening to a special GSM channel or time slot known as FCCH or frequency correction channel to determine its frequency offset from the base station. So the first step is to compile Calibrate Blade RF. Um, you start out by running bootstrap and then configure and then actually making the source files. Once that's done, you cd into src and then cal should be right there. Um, I would suggest starting out by scanning the GSM8050 band with a multiplier of 2 in the US. So this will take a bit. Oh, and there it is, Arfkin 128. So now that we know which channel we should tune to, we can specify that in um, the command line argument with dash c. So dot slash cal dash c 128 will make Calibrate Blade RF use Arfkin 128 to calibrate itself. So let's run that now. Each dot represents another successfully decoded GSM base station beacon. We'll let this run for a bit as it binary and then linearly searches for a solution. In the end, a calibration value that brings the VCT-CXO's frequency error within 2.493 parts per billion was found. 
The calibration value can be written out to the blade RF splash by either running the calibrate command with W option specified as such, or it can be written to the blade RF splash manually by running the following commands. FlashNet Cal takes two parameters. The first parameter is the size of the FPGA, and the second parameter is the DAC calibration value. In this case, I believe it was 0xA23F. And now it's written.